Welcome back. The eyewear industry, the glasses industry in focus this morning. While eyeglasses are an essential for millions of Americans, 95% of all frames are made outside the United States, according to the Alliance for American Manufacturing. But a company in Chicago is looking to change that. State Optical assembles all of its eyewear here in the United States. And we love Made in the USA, so we are happy to welcome Scott Shapiro to the program, State Optical Company CEO and co-founder. Scott, great to see you. Thank you Thanks for having so me. Thanks so much for joining us. So we're all trying on the glasses. Yeah. I love the way those look on you, yeah. Dagan. I am blind legally, <laughs> so I need a new pair of glasses because I fall asleep in them all the time and crush them, and these are these are beautifully made. They look great on you. They look great <laughs> on you. What, what do you get by, by manufacturing in the United States? We're here all day having a conversation about trade and about tariffs, and tell us um, how this is economically positive for you. Actually. So first and foremost, you know, there's a lot of pride that goes with making products here in the United States. We get to put Americans back to work. There's about uh, 50 craftsmen working in our factory today that wouldn't have those jobs if we were outsourcing that overseas. Uh, but I think much more importantly for our brand uh, is it really connects uh, the patients or the customers uh, with the craft of making eyewear. Mm -hmm. You know, we say in our factory it takes over 70 steps to make one pair of glasses, and over 50% of that has to be done by hand. So I think, you know, in our industry there's a lot of, there's a, a, a large misconception about what a pair of glasses should be worth, what really goes into making high quality eyewear. And by making it here in the United States, it gives us the opportunity to tell that story, to really get people in touch with that craft. Scott, oh, Scott, one of the things that uh, we hear CEOs say all the time, I'm curious about your perspective, is finding talent. So you said you have 50 people in Chicago. Is finding talent a, a challenge for your business? Very, very difficult. So I think what we don't talk about a lot when we talk about bringing manufacturing back to the United States is the lack of infrastructure we have here in the U.S. to make things, particularly something like eyewear. Um, it is a skilled, uh, it's a very skilled labor. Um, and so every one of those 50 craftsmen that we train in our factory have to be trained from step one. None of them have any experience doing that. And it generally takes about six months to get someone up and running before they can uh, do the job on their own. Most of the high-end eyewear that would be in this, the same league as your glasses is made in Japan and you mentioned earlier in Italy. These retail, the ones I've got on, for about $400. But is your profit margin slimmer than those manufacturers overseas because your labor costs are more expensive here? So, great question. Um, first and foremost, I should say that most of the product that says, or I won't say most, a lot of the product that says made in Italy, made in Japan, is in fact made in China. Wow. A vast majority of product is made in China, and there's a lot of ways That's to really get around point. that country of origin. Um, but the product that is genuinely made in Italy or made in Japan, mm -hmm. you know, their workforce is well paid as well. Uh, those workers also get paid a similar wage uh, to workers in the United States. So our profit margins aren't significantly worse than theirs. And in fact, there's a lot of uh, benefits, conveniences that we, uh, we benefit from by making frames here in the United States. So a lot of, uh, a lot of advantages that offset that difference. Where, where do people get the glasses? Uh, so we're in over 1,100 retail locations currently, um, all independent. Um, eye care uh, providers. So uh, you mentioned that you have an optometrist across the street. They might carry the product, uh, but only independent offices. Really great. Scott, great to have you on the show today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for so much. Scott me. Shapiro, we love your glasses. They yep. look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you.